rolls of pure white wool stand out on the green grassland. Acting like lawn mowers, the sheep clean the hills they pass through. They are the livestock loved by most farmers around the world. Do these portable wool rolls have anything attractive? In this video, we'll learn how farmers raise and harvest millions of tons of sheep wool. Compared to other livestock, sheep are easily adaptable to weather conditions. Besides, sheep farming requires less labour. The initial seed source is cheap, and the seed source can be increased quickly. Sheep farming is one of the key industries that brings high economic profits each year. Billions of dollars are earned annually through sheep farming and wool production. Farmers stay with the fields through different stages from lambs to adult sheep. March to April is peak season in the sheep industry. This is certainly a very busy time on the farm. Farmers will have to check their sheep day and night because ewes need support during childbirth. Most lambs are castrated, branded and tail docked before they are a week old. Careful care will ensure that ewes and their lambs get out into the fields as quickly as possible. The lamb will have the best opportunity to build immunity and grow strong. Weaning of lambs is also taking place as grass becomes more nutritious than milk. As sheep grow older and eat more grass, they face health challenges that their immune systems don't know how to deal with. Just like children, they can be vaccinated against common diseases. Sheep are present in many regions of the world, especially regions with temperate and subtropical climates. Raising livestock requires farmers to choose sheep breeds suitable for local climate and soil conditions. Raising sheep is like most other types of livestock. Farmers need to build safe and hygienic barns, provide enough food and water, and prevent diseases. Large farms usually own about 25,000 to 54,000 sheep that are mainly fed green grass on the hills. Besides large-scale farms, there is also a strong development of small-scale private family farms with an average of about 5,000 to 11,000 sheep. Herd size changes with the seasons and fluctuating market prices for wool and lamb. When the weather starts to warm up, farmers know it's time to shear their sheep. Harvesting wool is a technical process that requires great care and skill to achieve high quality wool. Most sheep are sheared in late spring or early summer to ensure they do not overheat and attract flies. The ulcerated skin was covered with thick fur I was sure this sheep was extremely suffering from itching and pain. This is the reason why even when wool prices are low, farmers still bear the cost of cutting wool. You see, leaving sheep with large, heavy wool all summer is not a good option. The main areas where wool harvesting and production are carried out are located in countries with temperate and subtropical climates of Asia, Europe and Africa. 
These are areas famous for their large scale and high quality in the industry. After harvesting the wool, the wool production process begins with sorting and processing the wool. Farmers carefully select according to quality, length and colour. The feathers are then processed to remove dirt and impurities. This process also helps increase heat resistance and durability through the use of specialised chemicals. Once the fleece has been processed, the fibre processing and weaving process begins. In winter, they lead their flocks of sheep to pasture in the valley. Farmers will choose an area large enough to accommodate their flock of sheep. They then build fences around the farming area to protect the sheep from wildlife intrusion and prevent them from escaping the fence. In early spring, they continue to move through the forests to open up spaces for grasslands to grow. After a period of time under pressure from these lawn mowers, grasslands need time to recover. Of course, the sheep will return once they have processed all the grass in the surrounding areas. Eating grass is not simple to get energy. The sheep help maintain a large area of greenery by eating unsightly bushes. This helps control overgrowth and maintain ecological balance. Shepherd dogs are trusted by farmers to protect their sheep. They are alert and highly protective of their territory. Quietly observing from afar, this position will help it see the sheep more broadly. Small in stature, they are even much smaller than sheep. But look at how this giant herd of sheep obediently moves along with it. The commanding ability of sheepdogs is truly amazing. For farmers, their sheep are all their assets, and these dogs are the best defense they have against wild animals. Crossing the rolling mountains, heading towards the grasslands, farmers raised millions of sheep like that. Before dark, the sheep were brought back to the barn, a place that helps them fight the cold and predators in the wild. Besides grazing, sheep farmers still have to take care of the barns. Cleaning up manure and hay is part of the daily chores. In addition to all the daily and weekly livestock work, Workers also have various seasonal tasks to perform. Sheep shearing is also one of the busiest times of the year on sheep farms. To get quality sheep's wool, the nutrition of daily meals is very important. Unlike grazing, sheep find their own food. On the farm, Farmers monitor eating quite closely. They need to ensure that the sheep in the flock are provided with the same amount of food to grow evenly. Grass and hay are stored as roughage for sheep on the farm. Dry straw will be mixed in the machine with synthetic feed. Depending on the nutritional needs of the sheep, farmers can also feed the sheep directly. Farmers also combine with grains to increase the quality of on-farm meals for sheep. Over the summer, 
the sheep grew larger and ate more on the grass. Sheep used for meat are usually sent to slaughter when they are five to eight months old. If the lambs on the farm are born in March, then depending on the weather and grass quality during the summer, they may be ready for sale in August. Weights vary depending on the market the farmer is serving. But about 99 ib to 110 ib is the weight that sheep reach before slaughter. Sheep that reach weight are loaded onto trucks and transported to markets or processing facilities. They are ready to enter the food chain. Some ewes may be kept on the farm to become the next breeding generation. This is a lamb processing factory with automatic technology. The farmer takes care of the sheep from the time they are in the pastures until they go to the slaughterhouse. All processors follow strict and safe instructions, so the lamb is of quality and ensures export standards. In addition to harvesting meat and wool, sheep also provide consumers with milk used by people allergic to cow's milk. Cheese made from sheep's milk also gives it a special flavour. If you have tried this cheese, please comment below to let me know your experience. Sheep farming is a complex activity. From pasture to farm, every activity requires diligence and care so that the sheep grow healthy. But shepherds have cleverly demonstrated that the sheep industry contributes strongly to the development of the economy in many countries. Around the world, the pig industry not only plays an important role in providing food for humans, but is also a large, vibrant and diverse industry. Amongst them, there exists special pigs which are considered symbols of class and of high economic value. Right now, we will explore how the world's most expensive pigs are raised. The most expensive pigs in the world are not only considered a food source, but also a living art product. They are cared for and raised using a special process. This creates a unique quality meat and flavor. Amongst them, typical is the Iberian black pig. Breeding process design is the core of this expensive pig breed industry. Production results on the farm are based on investment, including barn system, food, air purification, and disinfection. Scale can be adjusted depending on production method and requirements of customers. But, Compared to being raised in captivity, pigs like to roam free and much more. Therefore, farmers, in addition to choosing a location and building a farm, also have to find an ideal piece of grazing area. Today, the Iberian pig is one of the last pig breeds raised outdoors on the European continent. This breed of pig lives freely in Dehesa a large green space in southwest Spain with an area of about 3 million hectares. The space where Iberian pigs live is mainly made up of oak trees. Furthermore, it seems that more than half of the oak trees on the planet grow in Dehesa. The main diet of this Spanish pig is acorns. You can see it very skillfully knows how to peel acorns with its teeth and is capable of eating seven kilograms of acorns a day. At the same time, 
it also eats herbs and aromatic plants growing in these grasslands. It is a well-preserved breed of pig, thanks to its perseverance and efforts of the breeders and of course the industry. The breeding method is based on 100% natural feed and the comfort of the Iberian pig that they enjoy throughout their life is the key to the quality of this meat. The average sized Iberian pig does not usually exceed 396 pounds. It has dark fur, usually grey or black, and very little of it. This pig breed has thinner and longer legs than regular pig breeds. One of the reasons why this breed of pig is rare is because of its method of reproduction. Female Iberian pigs only have a small number of litters and they also have fewer piglets per birth than other pig breeds. From birth to slaughter, pigs are raised with utmost care to achieve their unique flavour. The extended raising period ensures that the pigs fully develop and accumulate enough fat to produce high quality meat. The life of an Iberian pig begins with the mating of females, all of whom must be 100% Iberian. A pig's pregnancy will last about three months. Then they will give birth to babies that weigh between one to two pounds, sometimes even less. At about two months of age, the young will be weaned and fed on pasture with the adult pigs. For pigs to gain weight while living on pasture, they need to adapt to the extensive production systems, where they have to walk long distances to feed themselves. To do so, they must be raised outdoors from the first few months of their lives. Breeders will feed them grains, nuts and other nutrient-rich foods. In this way, pigs will develop strong muscles and bones. With care from the farmers, they will gain about 65 pounds during this period. Natural foods good for pig growth are made from wheat, barley, oats and soybeans. During the development process, breeders will let them start eating grass from the pasture. Gradually the food will be completely eliminated in favour of eating grass and acorns. They will then officially enter the pasture phase when they reach a weight of around 220 pounds. Pigs need space to run around because then their fat will be evenly distributed throughout their bodies. It can be said that this is the most beautiful period in the life of the Iberian pig. With pasture underfoot and full of their favourite treats. At the same time, this is also the final fattening stage before slaughter and it determines about 60% of their final weight. Their final destination is the processing plants. You can see all processes are slower when we talk about 100% Iberian pork. From birth to slaughter, it takes about 18 to 22 months. Then, to make a piece of ham, the minimum time is three years. From the time the production process begins until the ham arrives on your dinner table, it takes about five years. If the acorns are not enough to fatten up the pigs, the diet will be supplemented with other foods, such as cereals or specially formulated foods. However, Iberian pigs in the fattening phase fed with grain compounds or feedstuffs that do not include acorns will be strictly controlled. All of their feed must fall within the parameters according to the quality standards for Iberian hams produced in Spain. These are the black pigs of the central Pyrenees you can see that they are quite similar to Iberian pigs. However, Bygor's black pigs still have some differences. Unlike the Iberian pig, 
which has long slender legs and little hair. The black pig of Bogor is stockier and more hairier. This breed of pig lives in grasslands and bushes at the foot of the mountains in Gers and Haute-Garonne in France. This is where it finds everything it needs to eat, such as green vegetables, chestnuts, acorns and fruit. When looking for food, it often moves in small flocks like this. Besides, it is still a pig breed that can easily adapt to climate change thanks to its ability to store resources well. Its natural diet, adaptability and good mobility explain why the Bigoa black pig is one of the pig breeds that produces exceptional meat products. The meat of this pig can be recognised by its beautiful red colour and outer layer of fat that is less than 30 millimetres thick with a very white colour. This is a delicious and healthy meat with a very delicate and unique flavour. The world's most expensive pigs not only require special care but also expertise and dedication from the farmers. Pigs need to be raised and cared for in a natural environment, provided with high quality feed and water formulas and have regular health checks. All of these factors play an important role in creating premium meat quality and unique flavours. You can see currently black pork has become an almost exclusive product in the global market because it is not only a speciality pig, but is also a symbol of quality and sophistication in cuisine.